Question 23. Here is a pentagon drawing a coordinate grid. The pentagon is symmetrical. And what we've got to do is work out the coordinates of point C. Well, any coordinate, you've got to remember that inside your pair of brackets, the number before the comma is all how far along the corridor you go. The number after the comma is how far up the stairs you go. So it's along the corridor first, then up the stairs. Now we are told that the pentagon is symmetrical. And this dotted line down here is our mirror line. So let's have a look at point C. Now the first thing you should notice is that point C is actually symmetrical with point A. It's the same gap from point C to the mirror line as it is from point A to the mirror line. That distance is symmetrical. So if we can work out this distance here, we can use that information to work out this distance and therefore find how long point C is across. So what we've got to look at is that the first number in point A's coordinate is 4 across. So that is 4 across. The first number in point B is 7 across because it says so there. So if I'm going from, if I'm starting at the beginning and I'm going 4 across to get to point A and then 7 across to get to point B, that is a gap of 3. So I then need to do the same gap of 3 on the other side. So I'm going 4 plus 3 is 7, then plus another 3 would be 10. And that would take me level with point C. So point C must be 10 across. Now the question is, how far up is point C? Well, point C, if you start on the bottom line, which is the zero line, and you go up to point C, point C is level again with point A. It's the, it's the same distance up. Point C and point A are the same distance up. So if we know how far up point A is, we also know how far up point C is. And point A is 9 up. So if point A is 9 up, point C must be 9 up. It has to be, because they are the same amount up, because they're level. So point C then has to be 9 up. Just to recap what we've said there, this 10 comes from the fact that point A is 4 across, and point B is 7 across, which gives us a gap of 3. So we then do the same gap of 3 to get level with C. So it goes 4, 7, 10, which is why we've got 10. The 9 up comes from the fact that C is level with A. They are the same distance up off the floor. So if A is 9 up, C must also be 9 up, which is why it's 10 across and 9 up.